Please be seated. The air is red hot and burning, and beyond that, the darkness of the long night. The wind whips heat around white sheets and white walls and white catheter, burning in the red of the night, ever moving. He has become the heat. Every organ is consumed with the fire. Long, searing tongues running over leg hair and belly swollen. Everything swollen. He has been pinned. Here lies a mortal body unraveling around the hinges and holes of an extra mortal decision. My God, I am spelling out. A living tomb, a polyester shroud. He came here to die unresting. The surgeon's outstretched arms show how he will be laid upon the theatre table. A crucifixion follows you into the blackness of a second birth, motherless. And now you must heal in the hole deep, deep down in the pit. Alone and stripped and laid bare, your judgment done. All stand. Come to me, thy quivering pilgrim, loaded with unsleep, wrestling in agony. Be thou still, hold me, and rest. Troubling night's broken prayer on thy lips is finished. Him whom they pierced, thou hast full atonement made. Please be seated. For three days I heard nothing but the wind, and I remembered nothing but the wind. Tie me to the cross of this bed I cannot get up from. Limbs bound by severed nerves and the ghosts of the wind on my fingertips, laid out on my back. I am desperate. I am a heathen. And beg, oh please, oh please, let me rise to the lofty heights of your church, clinging in desperation to your fingertips curled around me, pulling me, until I am nothing but prayer and weeping and devotion. Oh, you above me, O oh, you, my God, my Lord, my lover, or executioner, all stand. They shall look on in confusion, all our sins and shame on our guilty hearts, crowned with thorns, nailed to the bitter wood. O oh, my dying love, here in my bleeding wounds, hide and rest, through the virtue of thy blood, Swell the mighty flood I will ever give to thee, worship upon thy bleeding and spitted on cross. Please be seated. Breathless, holy, whole devotion. He worshipped, he feared, he stood in awe of the wounds. He bathed them. Breathless, breathless, removed the dressings. Rivers running, a flood, no blood, holy water laying in the surgeon's office and the nurse is unbuttoning him and he is weeping and she says the adhesive dressing will feel like the flaying of a second skin and he adheres himself to that like an anchor to the sticky adhesion of what is his and lets his body expel out the lament that would be appropriate for the occasion of flaying breathe breathe don't hyperventilate do you need a bag to rebreathe yourself into? Here alone with me as your one disciple. Please don't cry. Let me witness your resurrection. Pull away the cloth from the incisions. Pass them over with my fingertips. He steps into a mirror and the world cracks outward. And when he sees his chest, he realizes he is crossed over. He has done the impossible and he has gotten away with it. O oh, you of human skin, thieving at the limits of mortality, stealing from the lap of your God. O oh, you, you who abandoned living to hold an extra human resurrection in your body. You who have cheated. All stand. The crucified prays. Let the fiery death of death land me safe when I tread the verge of the crossing. The dying thief, who in bitter pains received my soul he had by himself purged, poured for me the lifeblood wrung from his sacred veins and delivered free salvation. <laughs>